Hello and welcome back to Accessible Photography. And I'm out on a nice evening. The sun's just dropped behind the cloud though, but it is a nice evening. And I'm out with my local camera club. And that gives me the opportunity to get out and see places I've never seen before. And we have arrived at Earth to see the Earth Pineapple. And as I say, something I've never seen before. And that is the benefit of a photography club. We have a list of places we're going to be visiting. And this is on the list today. Uh, I might vlog from other locations that we do, but this is just to show that we can get out and about on a day that you might not even want to go out. Now this is Friday. It's been a hard week at work. I'd rather not be out and about. I'd rather just be having a wee snooze, but it's got me out with other people having fun and taking photographs, which is what it's all about. And here is the Earth Pineapple. So I'm gonna try and take some photographs of this. The light's gone and the lights, the sun's actually behind the, the pineapple, if it was there at all. Uh, but there's some cloud, which gives some interest in the sky. And because of the way the light is, I might end up doing black and white. We'll see how it goes. And I've just spotted something quite dangerous. Well, not dangerous, but a bit uh, concerning. Duke has discovered water. Uh, Duke, got to go for a pee. And he's found very, very green water. So I've got to keep him out of that. Because if that's that nasty algae stuff, we don't want him getting in it. So I've taken a head-on shot to the building. We've got quite a bright sky above mm -hmm. and I'm using a filter and that's going to be, it's a grad grey, and that's going to take the sky out a little bit. Because Vic was taking a picture a moment ago, and despite the fact it's a blue sky and a nice cloud, it was burning out completely. So I thought I'm going to get a filter out, and now Vic's getting his filter out. What, what type of filter are you getting, Vic? Grad grey, just number four. Grad grey four, and, or, I have at the moment dropped in a 0.3. It might be enough, it might not be. Do you think a polarizer would do any good in this light, Vic? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't think so. I don't think it would. I don't think so. Uh, may get a saturated color, but it's in such deep shade, I don't think that would work either. So, Let's take a, a little picture, it's uh, F8 one sixtieth ISO 100 and I put that back on single. Highlights are burning out very fractionally uh, on the cloud, it isn't too bad. And the building there's detail there which I can probably bring up post and have a real look and make sure it's nice and sharp and that's okay. Now, what I want to do is double check my composition, make sure it's dead center. And I can do that if I put the frame on. So the usual case with me, I'm not actually able to work the, uh, the screen properly. So the, the grid and the viewfinder is on. So we're just gonna look through the viewfinder and make sure that the pineapple is dead centered into my, my screen by rotating and not tilting. So the pineapple is now centre. And I can see my tilt is slightly out because the top is lining up with the pineapple but the bottom of the door isn't. 
So just do that. I don't want too much grass in the foreground, so I'm going to emphasize the sky and the pineapple. So as you might notice, we have a, a nice Acer sitting here and we're going to shoot underneath the Acer. And as Flick's pointing out, we are starting to attract the midges as well. Aha, uh -huh. poor boy. Get a bit closer. Yeah. Okay, so I've finished with an image there. What I want to do now is just do a quick exposure, a quick uh, focus on the branches above to get them in focus and maybe blend them in afterwards. So that's, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And we're gonna walk away from here. We're very close to water, stupidly close to water in mid season. So we're heading away. So we've taken a duck under cover here, away from the side, so another photographer can photograph across the pond and up onto the pineapple. But what I found is a, a nice little frame of trees here and the pineapple in, just in there. So I'm gonna try that just now. I've got no filters on, just, the, just that. Take a picture. That's okay. The problem with it is, is because we're shooting it at an angle and it's a straight building, it looks like it's out of kilter and the angle's wrong. But I think it's okay. Just a wee zoom in, make sure everything's okay. Now the top, the top of the pineapple is actually caught up in amongst the, the leaves. So I'm going to lower the tripod a little bit, just so we've got that gap between the trees and the top of the pineapple. So there, go to there. Make sure the focus is in the right place. I'm actually going to lock the focus on. And I'm now down to a fifth of a second at f8. So because of that, I'm going to put the timer on so I don't disturb the shutter. I'm saying I don't have any filters on. I do have filters on, I didn't take them off. Silly me. So I'm now looking at pineapple. There's nothing actually touching, but it's very, very close. I think it's acceptable. Might even be able to take it fractionally lower. Still going to get branches touching it. not going to work any lower. I think we've got what we have at the moment. Let's go for a little walk. So I'm trying to set up whilst we have a nice sky and what I want to do is get a wide angle shot looking up and of course this means changing the lens because this is not wide enough so i'm putting on the 24 the 14 to 24 get there nice and low right smack bang in the middle my legs look funny get this level so I can actually get in quite close. So I'm quite low, looking straight up, get right back in the middle. Now, I don't know if you can see, you've got clouds and clouds of midges all around me. Welcome to Scotland, as I say. Got to get the level just right, like so. Focus on that, get the exposure lock it and I want to get a bit more of an angle on that 
Okay, I'm gonna get a bit more of the sky. I keep touching it when it's supposed to be going off. I don't need the timer on just now. I'm getting mauled. I'm gonna put the hat on. That doesn't help totally, but it gives a little bit of protection. Make sure my angles are right. Take the picture, quickly check it, that looks okay. Different, it might actually be too close, but uh, that'll have to do. I'm gonna have to move, because the midges are doing my head in, absolutely doing my head in, so it's time to go. Oh my God, the midges are horrendous. I don't know if there's this stuff, I feel like they're on me. I feel like they're crawling all over me. Ah, absolutely horrible. I didn't realize the midges were going to be so prolific just now. I thought we had another couple of weeks. I'd have brought my Avon skin so soft if I had realized it was sitting beside the camera equipment. I should have brought it. Those of you that don't know, Avon Skin So Soft is quite good as a midge deterrent. Apparently they changed the recipe a little while ago and it's not quite as good as it was, but it still seems to do the job. So if you're up in the Highlands, <laughs> I'm not even in the Highlands, I'm in Scotland. If you're in Scotland, think of midge protection, try Avon Skin So Soft. And hill walking mountaineering shops in Scotland We'll actually sell it. Uh, I got mine at uh, Tiso or Tiso in Edinburgh. So go for it, have a, have a go and see what you can get. Enough is enough. I've got a couple of pictures and I've decided it's time to go. Duke has decided it's time to go. Old tripod dog has decided it's time to head back to the car. He now, ha he now has my equipment and he's off. But that's me. I've decided the midges have won the battle again. I'm giving up. I'm heading away. And I know for a fact there's a glass of cold white wine waiting for me at a friend's house. So I'm heading there to finish the night off at the end of a barbecue and enjoy a nice glass of wine. So until then, as I say, get out. Have big, what was I say? What did I say? Get out, take pictures, have fun. Something on those lines. Until then, see you soon, bye.